Hey, what's up? Replayer here. In this short video, we will be taking a look at version 5.0 of my seamless transitions. My pack started with only 100 plus transitions, and now it includes more than 1,000 elements. In the latest update, you will also find 100 new and awesome color presets. Color presets work exactly as transitions. Just drop them on the timeline above your footage. So, Bind My Pack will cover all your needs in Premiere Pro regarding editing and color correcting. Now I'll show you how to use my pack. First, you'll need to unzip the project files from the zip folder. If you don't unzip the project files, Premiere Pro won't be able to locate the media files. This is a ground rule for both Mac and Windows. Secondly, after the files are unzipped, select the project file that you want to use and resave it. Resaving means that you need to open a project file and replace the current file with the new one. After that, you can import transitions into your project. Here's how you do that. Just drag and drop a previously resaved file in your project window. Make sure that you have Allow Importing Duplicate Media on. It's very important. Also, please note that the resolution of the transitions must match your sequence resolution perfectly. Just click on the Sequence-Sequence Settings and compare the sequence resolution and transitions you just imported. Now let me tell you about some little details you need to know before applying the presets. Turn on the option that allows you to insert sequences content as individual clips. This icon must be gray, not blue. Turn on all video tracks except the first one. Track 1 must be off because the transition preview is also located on track 1. Then you can open up any category and see what transitions look like. In order to do that, you need to turn on the icon view mode. Now you can use your mouse cursor to preview transitions. To use any preset, you just need to drag and drop it above your footage. That's all. The transition is ready in a single click. Please note that the transition peak must be right between the shots, like this. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my new awesome updates. Bye bye!